Fox 21 and the Colorado Springs Independent are teaming up once again this year for the Give Campaign. We'll be highlighting local organizations that need your help. Tonight we're taking a look at the Trails and Open Space Coalition, a nonprofit organization with the purpose of working to preserve open space and rural land and create a network of trails, bikeways, and greenways in the Pikes Peak region. Joining me now to tell us more is Susan Davies, Executive Director with the Trails and Open Space Coalition. Thanks for being here, Susan. Oh, thanks, Rachel. It's great to be here. Well, first tell us more about the coalition. Tell us all about it. You know, they've been around for 23 years. Really? Okay. Uh -huh. There were folks that looked around the community and said, we need to make sure we preserve some of these very special places. So they started the work that eventually led to the TOPS tax, mm -hmm. one penny on every $10, okay. that saves open space, helps create trails, and, and builds some parks like the, um, the Blade Park, you know, the very nice roller skate park, mm -hmm. that one, and then the um, Adaptive Park, too. So anyway, so tra uh, TOSC was really the organization behind the effort to preserve some of these special places. Okay, very cool. And we still do it to this day. Now, you guys are really, the backbone is volunteers, really volunteers working for you guys, right? Well, you know, the city with its budget cuts is mm -hmm. no longer able to manage a volunteer project. They don't have a full-time volunteer coordinator anymore. Okay. So TOSC has stepped in and now manages volunteers volunteering in places like, helps with it anyway, Palmer Park, mm -hmm. um, some of the larger open space. And, and so there's a lot of needs out there that, that uh, are not being met, but we're helping to coordinate, step up volunteerism and get people on projects. So okay. that's very gratifying. Now, what are some of the things the coalition does? You know, do you just work towards maintaining these parks, building new ones? M you know, talk a little bit more about the specifics. Sure. Right now, some of our focus, um, what we're really taking a look at is trail connections. There are a lot of trails that are out there that people use, but sometimes they don't lead anywhere or there mm -hmm. are some missing trail connections. So we're stepping up efforts to see that people can use trails to get to work or get to shopping, whatever. Greenways, bikeways, we're focusing on that. Mm -hmm. And then we're really focusing on parks. We're trying to find a sustainable way that we can take care of our parks. You know, our parks are the reason so many of us live in this area, mm -hmm. trails and open space. And so we need to make sure they're maintained sustainably. Right. So we're working on that citizen pro process to get people mm -hmm. to, f to feel that mar parks matter and to invest in their parks and, and, and what that's going to mean for all of us as all a community. Right. Things that are really important to everybody that lives in this community. Talk about the event you guys have coming out this weekend, this Sunday, correct? This Sunday from 4 mm -hmm. to 7 o'clock, we're going to be at Divine Wines. We're going to have a wine and chocolate tasting. And um, we're also going to have computer send up, set up so that people can give to the Indie Give campaign okay. and donate to the Trails and Open Space Coalition. Mm -hmm. And so that's going to be really a fun event. And what's so cool about this, Rachel, is we reached out to a couple of local businesses, mm -hmm. Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory, as well as Divine Wine, and they said, absolutely, we believe in what you're doing. So a big percentage of every chocolate bar they sell, every wine bottle they sell, goes right to the Trails and Open Space Coalition nonprofit, and we can do our mission. Very cool. Easy way to give. Well, thank you so much, Susan, for being here. Now, if you would like to give to the campaign, you can do so by going to our website. It's really easy, coloradoconnection.com, and clicking on the Give logo. You'll find it at the top of our homepage, and you'll find the coalition under there. Thanks again for being here, Susan. We really appreciate it, and good luck to you guys. Thank you so much.